Hi, I'm Ben with Teleport, and today I'll be giving you a quick introduction to using labels with Teleport. Labels is a powerful feature that you can add to servers, applications, Kubernetes clusters, and databases. I'm going to focus primarily on servers for this video. We have two types of labels. We have static and dynamic labels. A static label here is an example role leader. Um, I have three Postgres databases running in HA. A dynamic label is one of these labels which will update depending upon how often you want it to run. So in my case, uh, every five minutes, I update the uptime stats of these clusters. You can see these all been running about the same amount of time. Um, this one, uh, three hours more than the others. And I've also picked in what the kernel version is and what the architecture is. Labels are very powerful, um, but if I wanted to log into this Postgres server as one user, I can log in, but I can exit. But sometimes you want to run commands across all three of these hosts. For this, you want to use our command line tool TSH. So TSH LS will show you a list of all of the servers. And there's a few um, advantages using the command line. If I do TSH SSH, you can use labels instead of using the host name. So I can do EC2 user at type Postgres. But what this is going to do is it notices there's multiple nodes and it's only going to pick the first one. So this can be helpful to some degree, but sometimes you want to execute command across all three. So if I uh, pick the same Postgres again, and I want to see list of currently connected users, it's going to run the W command across all three hosts. So it's all kind of the same. Another useful tool, uh, if you're looking at who has access the system, is to use last. And you can see of the three hosts, the top one and the bottom one has a lot of activity. So there's been lots of machines logging in. The middle one hasn't. So that might show you that this might be a host that we want to investigate further. Going back to the Teleport UI, I'm going to show you one last feature of our labels. You can use labels in our role-based access control. Here we have a wildcard matching for uh, app labels, DB labels, but you can also make these dynamic. Let's say you have a range of servers going from staging to production. You might want to not let people access the production servers. So you would add a deny rule here to deny node labels based upon star production. That brings me to the end of using labels with Teleport. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the discussion board. And for our next video, we'll do a deeper dive into dynamic labels. Thank you.